Welcome to the Waterloo School Student News, Hoover Middle School Edition. I'm Lydia. And I'm Amarion. To make science more in exciting, kids get to do some pretty cool stuff. This experiment in one Hoover class has students analyzing how to make shrimp grow. Shrimp in a classroom? Uh, yeah. What's the difference between your cups and what's happening with this cup and this We're cup? We're practicing with controls and variables. I think anytime kids get excited about what they're doing and excited about um, a hands-on project, they're going to learn from it. So if they're going to be excited about looking at the brine shrimp, they're going to really process what they're supposed to be learning and think about the, you know, the controls and the variables and hopefully the abiotic factors affecting how it affected those, those living factors. So anytime you can see that and the kids can kind of manipulate it, I think they're going to benefit from it in the long run. That's a control cup. We're going to compare what our variable did. So did that variable affect our brine shrimp? So do you notice a difference with the light then? How are they reacting? Hopefully we can continue then. We'll start very basic and we'll help sketch out the graphs for them and we'll help sketch out the tables for them. So you're going to take the number of hatched shrimp from one of the quadrants and you're going to multiply that by four and that's going to estimate the total number of hat shrimp that you had in your cup. And hopefully what they'll be able to do is do it by themselves on their own later down the road which will obviously help them in high school. A semi-truck in Hoover's parking lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. A semi-truck? Yeah. Oh gosh. A semi-truck in Hoover's parking lot may seem like a strange thing but what's inside is opening up a whole new world in science science, technology, engineering, and math to students. Let's take a look. It's the control for your blade. It'll tell you how that's what's going to make your blade. Waterloo Schools has been very welcome to us in our new uh, endeavor uh, in our push towards STEM education. Today for our trial run, we have our construction operator equipment trailer that we use to go out and do training with. And what we're doing here today is we have three virtual stations for Hoover students to go through. First they go through a virtual welding station and so they get a little practice at welding and then they move to another station which is another virtual reality uh, piece of equipment that we have at Hawkeye called BodyViz and it's a kind of a great anatomy lesson that they can see bone structures, muscle tissue and then they move to another station where they simulate driving construction equipment. They love it. The, the word spread at lunchtime that it, they couldn't wait to get to science because they knew how much fun they were going to have. It's never too early for them to start thinking about their careers as an adult and to see the vast majority of jobs that could possibly be available there and that they could even hopefully stay right in our community so we reap the benefits of this in years to come. I would love to thank anyone who supported the local option tax for Hawkeye Community College because without that I doubt the extent of this experience would be available to our students. So we're so fortunate to have a community that supports education in Waterloo. Physical education at Hoover just got more interesting. Thanks to a student teacher, a strength training class is giving your young people a chance to lead. That was a fun class. You can do push-ups, dips here, abs. Air squats or... Very fortunate to have Jordan Smith as our student teacher this first quarter and he's been doing just a, a great job with the kids. In fact, uh, our principal, Mr. Fisher, has noticed how well he's done and he came to Mr. Smith and initiated and tried this pilot program. Mr. Smith had a choice to, uh, to take time out of his day to do this or not and he chose to do it. Student led and he's oversaw it, coordinated it and uh, has done a great job with the kids. I proposed the idea instead of sitting in skills, I thought, you know, why not come out here and just work out and get better, stronger, faster. He was really nice. He knew a lot of the muscles. He was just always motivating others to do their best. The thing I like about Mr. Smith is that he'll incorporate ideas from our ideas. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Definitely have had a positive experience. This is an awesome school. Great teacher, Mr. Aldridge. He's been here a long time. And I definitely can tell, and I've learned a lot. So it's been a great experience. There is a shortage of workers in healthcare nationwide and in the Cedar Valley. That's why a medical leaders group at Hoover is on the path to filling future jobs. I scraped my knee. Do you think they can help? Here's more about the experience. So you would just try and feel for a pulse, and if you don't feel one, we would want you to start compressions. 
So we're partners in education with Hoover Middle School, and with that, we've decided to do a medical leaders program. How it got started was the principal was really interested in teaching the kids about different healthcare careers. Um, a lot of the kids always say, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. I was one of those kids. And so I designed a curriculum to kind of teach them about different healthcare careers you can have in the hospital. And today we're actually learning about CPR, and we're learning about paramedics and EMTs. Some other topics that we've covered is like forensic scientist or pathologist. Ever since I was young I've always wanted to be a doctor and when I grew up I wanted to be a neurosurgeon and I thought this was a step in the right way. It sounded really fun and I'm gonna try and do like this job like traveling and speaking about the body. 30 compressions to two breaths just like we said before. You know I think when they're young they're so impressionable and I think it's extremely essential to get them educated young and to teach them about the different healthcare careers and just education in general and so I really love working with the kids because they're really interested in learning these things. And I think it's our job to provide them with that information. Thanks for watching.